This is the second lecture, and this is the actual beginning of our Blitz through the Ancient Near East. And what I'm going to do is we're going to run quickly from essentially prehistoric times up until the dawn of the New Testament in this lecture. And basically, as we look back in the past, and I don't take a particular position on how old the Earth is. Um, I presume if you want to know how old the Earth is, you read a science book. And I don't necessarily see any tensions between the biblical creation accounts and um, any kind of current uh, scientific theories at all. Um, but so essentially, when we say from the Stone Ages to the present, I'm not pres presuming any sort of um, necessarily any particular age for how long people have been on the earth, but we know they've been on for a really long time. And essentially, what anthropologists have shown us is that as you move from essentially primitive types of uh, living arrangements to essentially urban areas and uh, civilizations, because regardless of how long people have been around, as far as the biblical historic history is concerned, um, by around roughly 3000 BC, there are major civilizations present in Egypt and over in Mesopotamia. So from looking at anthropological models, these are the steps that take place essentially to move persons from being um, hunter-gatherers to being a persons who were urbanized, living in, um, and growing agriculture and producing their own food, essentially. And essentially what you, what you see is large people groups that move from just collecting food to producing food, from being hunters and gatherers to being actually agriculturalists and pastoralists. And that involves moving ultimately from being a nomadic people uh, to being a sedentary people. And again, um, Groups go back and forth between these these things, but if, um, over time, if a group's going to actually settle enough to, to grow into some kind of civilization like we saw in Egypt along the Nile River and the groups that lived between the Tigris and Euphrates, you're going to see these, these steps take place. And as groups begin to settle and produce their own food, they need a method of storing it that's safe, and thus uh, pottery becomes important. If you're walking around, you're not carrying a lot of pottery with you, but if you're settled and you have to store food, pottery is a safe means of storing um, grains especially. In Mesopotamia, as uh, time moved forward, irrigation was large-scale irrigation became the rule and the way of, of, um, of producing crops and, and, and the, the, the scale of the irrigation system that was present in Mesopotamia um, presupposed some kind of large organization. This isn't just some guy digging a ditch to get water through. This is a very um, a fairly intricate system of canals and channels to allow the water and the flood levels to be able to be, um, to be controlled somewhat. And urbanization and specialization begins to move in as enough food is produced, as the population settles, there's there's the opportunity for some, again, it's not specialization by everyone, but there ends up becoming a few specializations. Uh, riding becomes important. And the, 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 the most important specialization would have been metallurgy. That is moving from just having basically rock and stone-based tools or even um, tools made out of, say, copper, very soft metal, was the, the art of metallurgy was actually mixing um, different types of metals together to produce a harder and harder metal which provided you with better tools but ultimately harder and more lethal and effective weapons. And so the art of metallurgy was very important at, um, for the rise of civilization. Uh, writing um, was, again, it's kind of funny, prehistoric times writing begins to be developed especially for economic transactions but systems of writing were already present um, 5,000 years ago, which is quite fascinating. So as we move from the Stone Ages up to the dawn of really what we would call recorded history, these are essentially the steps that, that, that um, took place um, that allowed that to that allowed